Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome in. Welcome here, welcome to the pause, yes. The moment that we get with ourselves to just be, not to think about what the rest of the day has for us. Just stop and feel into how you're feeling right now. you are feeling the love i hope you are feeling your self-love if you haven't taken a time a uh, moment this week to really really just feel into you i'm telling you it is going to be imperative for you to ground yourself today's wednesday tomorrow's the day that people gather um, with the families and everything let's turn that off <laughs> i could just totally see myself like leaning back and like oh my god okay <laughs> so it's been this theme this week of like putting forth this message of look you are you stand in your power you're going to come into contact with people that have known you your whole life and they don't understand what you've been through they don't understand your shifts your uh your changes your growth they don't understand what you've been through and that is okay it is okay just understand that when they project at you and when they tell you how they are and they treat you in a certain way that is not in alignment with you stay aware of the ignorance of the fact that they just don't they just don't know they know not have grace and stand in your power okay you are here always here do not lower yourself for a moment this week tomorrow the next day you're not lowering yourself you're standing in the work you've done you're standing in gosh how far you have transformed even from a year ago you've done so much this is not the time to shrink yourself and put yourself in some kind of family mold just so that you can all get along <laughs> With that said, shake it up. <laughs> shake it up, okay? Stand in authenticity. We are unlocking codes. We are unlocking generational codes, okay? If you think that it is inappropriate to bring something up during family time when literally everyone's together, you're wrong, okay? This is the time. <laughs> I think we're gonna, we're gonna have a, um, a moon in Aries that's gonna assist. Now, I did not mean to come on here and promote any kind of drama. Oh my goodness, no drama. Repel the drama. Get the drama out of here. We don't, we don't want the drama, but my goodness. It's that balance. I'm a Libra, okay? It's all about the balance. You got to stand strong in who you are. Know when to back away. Know when to walk away. Know when to just... Mm, they know not... <laughs> They know not what they do. It's okay. You know, like, it's not okay, but, you know, today's not the day. 
Um, use discernment. You are a powerful, grounded soul. You don't lead in erratic emotions. Like you, you know how to read the room. You know how to understand. But I'm just putting forth the power of generational healing, um, generational trauma healing. Everyone's in the same room. They're all ready together. We don't need like this fake ass oh, we're family, or we're this, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about this stuff. What have you guys been up to? What codes have you unlocked? How did you ascend in this past year? You know, like, ask them what, what transformations have happened in the past year. Get deep with your family. Like, get off of this, this surface stuff, because you could be unlocking pretty intense codes. And if you're, you're African American and like because I'm speaking from my bloodline like we could be unlocking money codes like literally generational money codes if we could just sit and talk and unlock the the weave that's been just settled in with capitalism and the society and so many things There's lots to talk about <laughs> so you all can win while you're alive right now if you just are brave enough to talk about this stuff. Cool. <laughs> I love that message. Um, we're gonna pull a card, okay? A new moon intention card. Actually, actually, we're gonna meditate. We're gonna meditate on everything I just said. We're gonna meditate on the ancestors. We're gonna meditate on the um the people that are alive <laughs> the ones that are alive let's just breathe love light power abundance energy worthiness to your bloodline okay and if you are a star seed and you don't resonate with the human part and the bloodline part of this existence just know that still by unlocking these codes you unlock a higher power within you and within your bloodline so just get started on it i mean you don't have to resonate with with those people but at least <laughs> at least get to know <laughs> and breathe life and power and unlock some generational healing for you all it's for everybody We're going to breathe, just breathe, inhale into your body. Mm. Let me know if that resonated with you. Let me know if there are any intentions that you're putting forth. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, all of that wonderfulness. And I will see you soon. <laughs> just breathe. Know that you are exactly where you need to be right now. I feel like. Rotate where you're holding on, where you're tense, where you're holding on, and see if you can breathe some relaxation into that area. I just felt like I was like tense, tense in my hands. So just release and enjoy the meditation.
Invite some deep breaths into your body. Some deep breaths. I love looking out the window after I meditate. <laughs> Feel into how you feel right now. What do you feel? What do you need right now to just go into the rest of this week in your most powerful form? Mm. Wow, water is just such a blessing. <laughs> so amazing. Um, it's just such a oh, yes. Today is the first day of uh, Sagittarius season. Significant. Okay, so. It's funny because I'm literally about to go travel the world. My first time overseas. I'm about to go on an overseas tour. And so today's Sagittarius season. And Sagittarius season is about freedom is about traveling it is about getting what you want self-expression this is what i want and this is what i desire you may find that you are turned off to routines right now or you know going into sagittarius season and you want that structure you want to get everything you desire and really really like go hard and in your business and everything but at the same time it, it's time to like bounce and take a trip at the same time like you want to just be free and just roam and just be and anybody who gets in the way of that anyone who <laughs> who stands to get in the way of that is out is out of here that's sagittarius right there I mean, super blunt, cutthroat, fiery sign. This is the energy of like, you win, like you get what you want. And we do have some transits coming up in December that are gonna set us up for insane success. And gosh, I just, I wanna get ahead of this and, um, and you know, share this if you're watching this. But I do want to get ahead of this. It's a yearly thing where people really start experiencing seasonal depression. Uh, there are many, many holidays. And so you're around family much more. Uh, or you're not around family. And that's really daunting. Um, there's a lot of money, capitalist situations. I mean, you spend way more money in this season than any other season. There's a lot working against us in these seasons societally and capitalist wise okay and it's up to you to stay aware of such and really feel into how you actually feel as a body or if you feel a certain way because of how money is making you feel or if you're feeling some way because of how your family is making you feel or if you're feeling some way because that's the energy in the air everyone's talking about it you're on social media and all you see all day is freaking all, all these things, <laughs> capitalist, family stuff, drama, and then we have a war going, like just like really intense stuff going on. A couple, I mean, multiple things. And so with that, you being grounded is going to be so important. And just the biggest thing of all of this, of just putting astrology into all of this is like the Sagittarius season into capricorn season into aquarius season like that's all winning that's all like money gain time like wealth abundance and the focus to actually get shit done like i feel like in a way 
the societal energies have been so alchemically planned in a sense to kind of keep us down in such powerful energy when i learned more about astrology i was like we're we're active like we're out here winning during winter time no way everything's down during that time but it's a time where you can indeed uh get accomplish a lot you can accomplish a lot in this time so know that with sagittarius coming up or sagittarius now you get what you want and then um capricorn my moon is in Capricorn. I love me some Capricorn energy, okay? Because it's just so powerful. So stick around if you want to get all the money keys and all the um, entrepreneur keys over the next two months. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be in Africa. Um, I'm going to be in Tanzania and Egypt, Greece, Nepal, india all these different places and i'm gonna be meditating with you guys along the way i'm gonna be doing human design readings all over the world i'm going to uh, be doing them online with you all too go ahead and book a reading let's go let's do it and um astrology um natal chart readings as well do not let this season slow you down okay you are set up to win you are set up to win please take advantage of this energy because then it's it's pisces season oh my goodness that's the slow time if you know what i'm if you don't know what pisces energy is think about how you have felt the past two days sluggish sleepy tired daydreaming all day can't focus on anything don't really want to be grounded in the world right now you just want to flow and be maybe you've been crying about stuff you're like more connected to source like that that's that's february march and then you get into april and it's like it's on airy season fire get up get up hibernation's over <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah i just i'm thinking that right now is not hibernation time that's the message i'm getting anyway but it's more of a like flow sagittarius says flow right now flow let's see what the message oh my gosh i just dropped so many cards so many cards on the floor they're on the floor now they're in my hand <laughs> right all right let's see what the message is actually that was a really good sign to shuffle them shuffle that energy <sighs> sometimes i feel rushed in these lives i do try to make them 30 minutes or so but it's just one of those things of like, you know, slow down. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. So, show me what you got. What do you have for me? What do we have? Whenever things like this happens, I'm like, Oh, I passed the card that they really wanted. Oh my goodness. It's always very interesting. How are you guys in your love life right now? How's love for you? Because it's looking like you're you're reaching out. You're needing it. The five is a change coming on. Change happening in which you receive the... Oh, you know what you want in love now. And you're not waiting to receive it you're gonna receive it well you are waiting to receive it but you're not um settling is what i mean maybe 11 and 5 i mean that's the love right there so you have burning for love and wealth of love now these cards are super awesome they have like ancestor cards and um happiness cards joy cards connection like community we got two love two love cards so i wonder how love is going for you 
how you feel in your love life right now if you do feel indeed that you can now itemize what it is that you desire in a relationship and if you can go forth vibrating and and existing on that plane existing in that understanding that that's what you want because that's what the cards are kind of saying so how is love for you i mean i know we went through a venus retrograde earlier in the summer and it was a whole trip it was a whole trip i keep personally i'm going through like shadows of my past relationship because well we were together for a really long time and there are things that i um have that happened within me that I didn't realize was happening and it just became a situation of well now you have to gain that worthiness back we're talking worthiness self-worthiness of like you just just not feeling that I'm worthy for my own boyfriend it was really sad actually like looking back but um I get memories of that and I get notes of that to transmute that and to heal that and to help about it because at the end of the day, I deserve love. I deserve a deep, wonderful, loving, caring, just marvelous love. And and I had that. I mean, we had really great love, but on the material plane, we have to match as well. And so just aligning to that i know that i can itemize what i want in love and oh, i may have found it <laughs> but that's besides the point back to you <laughs> how are you feeling about love so the very first thing that came up is burning for love i this little ponytail yeah <laughs> i am one with the fire of eternal love and creation all life flows through me and i am alive with love <laughs> I embody love for all to see, and as I burn with this sacred fuel, I allow others to witness love in its sacred and divine human manifestation. <laughs> Isn't that so beautiful when you vibrate on the level of love? And this is what I teach in my Unconditional Self-Love uh, online course is the, of course, self-worthiness, but the fact that for someone to embark on a self-love journey like they feel that it's selfish they may feel it's selfish or they may feel that like why why would i do this who's it for besides myself and it's for everybody everybody wins when you love yourself the entire imagine when you when you've seen this when somebody who loves themselves walks into the room and you're like you feel it you're like oh my god <laughs> and then people that envy they're like the audacity how dare her come here looking like that feeling like that but pumping all this energy into the world that's that's the self-love that's what you're feeling you're feeling unconditional self-love vibrating within somebody else okay and so with that it's about just burning for love within you you want to be that authentic love you want to live your full authentic self and it all begins with unconditional self-love i love myself regardless okay even if i keep choosing the habits that don't align with my highest life i still love myself along the way i am not going to be downplaying myself when i get negative thoughts that were put into me when i was younger i i combat those things i let them know hey we don't do that anymore that's something we used to do and we don't put down ourselves anymore absolutely not because i win always we win we all win let's go all right burning to love <laughs> now we have wealth of love so four and a one that makes a five uh, the seven and four that makes eleven, so we have eleven and five, which are just love and change. That's why I was asking you how you how you feel about your love moving forward, and so wealth of love. <laughs> I radiate love, energy, and experience abundance of love in all forms at all times. I trust that love is available to me and I welcome it from all directions, allowing love to make a good home within my heart and spirit. That is so cute. That is so cute. Stop. No, but don't stop. Look, 
just I I'm finding and this is the this is the route that I'm on is is just spreading the self-love throughout this throughout this planet and throughout this world is that we are just moving in this wealth of love and so when you are just going out into the world full of just love 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 nothing can hold you nothing can hold you back not a thing no and so in knowing that and understanding that just step forward know that you are loved know that you are important know that you are cherished know that when you see something outside of you that you love that you honor that you want you you get so excited oh i wish i had that i want that that's for you that's you too that's for you too okay you are worthy gosh i've been just getting these codes guys about worthiness all week about love and worthiness and I feel it. I feel where you all are. I feel <laughs> I feel what you're feeling. Excuse me. This self-worthiness lack. It's a it's a really vibration. Like it's going on in a really big way. Like I feel I feel on a communal level. I feel what everyone else feels. And it's self-worthy that's lacking right now. It's so sad. <laughs> so anyway, love yourself. I love you guys. There's really just know that you are love. That's what the message is today is just if you are feeling any lack, if you are feeling that you are not worthy, understand that you are. Be delusional if you must. Say it every day. I am worthy. I am abundant. I matter. Like you are everything. And don't forget, don't be afraid to be your authentic self at those family events this weekend or friend events, okay? They maybe knew you before, but you're new today. You're different than you were a year ago. You're going to speak up this time. You're going to activate that generational healing that you can, okay? It's so powerful that you do. They're waiting for you. You might be the one who shakes up the the bloodline. Let's go. Speak up. Maybe grandpa needs to hear something. (laughs) My goodness. Thank you all so much. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And don't forget to meditate tomorrow if I'm not here. Wow. <laughs>